he came to say, yes, I'm, I accept your apology. But he found him already told the story to the Prophet Muhammad So the Prophet, they already know. Abu Bakr Siddiq come in and, and look at his people. Wallahi qulubuhum hayya. Abu Bakr Siddiq, when Umar Abdul Khattab is coming to the masjid inside to say to Abu Bakr Siddiq, I'm sorry, I will accept your apology. But I loved so much that happens about Abu Bakr Siddiq. He always blamed himself. Wallahi, this is when I study his seerah. This is when you remember we say, Nafs al-Lawama. That's when we want to take something from him. Why he's like that? He always blamed himself. You know what he used to say? I wish I am a bird that's in the tree that when I die, I become dust. And I don't have to go through trial with Allah to ask me about good and bad and this. Maybe I fail. So he used to feel like this. Ya laytan yukuntu ghuslan fi shajara. I wish I was a, a branch on a tree that animals devour. They eat it. So I don't be questioned. This is a nafs al-lawama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he swear by the nafs al-lawama. Don't be arrogant. This man does a lot for Islam. And he says he's afraid from Allah. And Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, even though the hadith is da'if, is weak, but Ibn Kathir, he mentioned from the fada'il of Abu Bakr Siddiq, he says one time, Abu Bakr Siddiq was sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel. Ya Jibreel, go to Muhammad and say aqra'ihi salam and say assalamu alaykum ya rasulullah wa qul lahu ana radin an and tell Abu Bakr Siddiq ana radin anka fa hal anta radin anni Allahu akbar ya ya rasulullah the jibril came to rasulullah and he says ya rasulullah Allah from above seven heaven he's telling you to say assalamu alaykum to Abu Bakr Siddiq and tell him tell him i am pleased with him i am pleased with you for for good are you pleased with me are you so can you believe this question is are you allah is asking abu Bakr, are you pleased with me or you want me to give you something else or what abu Bakr said that he cry he says how can i not be pleased with allah and i am the needy of his pleasure and from Rida. I am the one who seek his Rida and I'm the one who ask his forgiveness. His relationship with Abu Bakr Siddiq was strong when Abu Bakr Siddiq become Muslim, become strong. And this is another one. To show you sometime when we have a problem with each other, try to solve it. Solve it. This is even Sahaba, they have problem with each other. One time, Abu Bakr Siddiq and Abu and Umar Abdul Khattab, may Allah be pleased with them, they have an argument. What time now? Because I don't want to exceed the... 7.15, we still, Isha is 8. Maybe 10 minutes and I close. Abu Bakr Siddiq has an argument with this. Two big giant Sahaba, عنهم, they have an argument. Abu Bakr Siddiq, he felt that he is his mistake. And when you make a mistake, don't be arrogant to say, I'm sorry, I did a mistake. That's exactly what Abu Bakr Siddiq did. He went to Abu Bakr, Umar Abdul Khattab, he says, Yeah, Umar, we have an argument. Just a couple hours ago, please forgive me, it's my fault. Can we say this sometime? It's my fault. Subhanallah, al mu'minu yani bashar. They are bashar, they are human beings. And his, Abu Umar al Khattab, for some reason at that time, he says, No, I don't forgive you. Again, it's a mis. Umar al Khattab, Abu Bakr Siddiq now departed. He felt bad, he felt like, Why? And then, you know, where is he going to go? He's going to go to the Prophet Muhammad. He's going to search for. He's Khalil, his close friend. He went to the masjid, the Prophet was sitting in the masjid, and Abu Bakr Siddiq, he came rushing in the future. And the Prophet he says, Ama inna sahibakum faqad ghamar. Verily, your friend has a calamity. He saw the free. Be, read the faces of the people sometime. This is part of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says this in the Quran. He says, uh, uh, he will give you al furqan you you will know if you have taqwa you have iman you will see the you will see things sometime before they happen and it's a gift from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the prophet saw he said laqad ghamar sahibakum he's he's going through a trial problem so he came he says ya rasulullah i had an argument with umar ibn khattab may allah be pleased with him i want to ask him forgiveness he says i don't want to forgive you the prophet he says yaghfirullah lak Allah will forgive you. You are not an, an ordinary person. Allah will forgive you anyway. Allah will forgive you. Umar ibn Khattab again. It's a high level of Iman. We talk about him next time. He immediately felt like, oh, it's again. He came to me. Ask, close that door, please. He came to me. Asked me forgiveness, for forgiveness. 
and I refuse, I'm gonna go and ask. He went to his house, knocking the door for him. Ayna Abu Bakr said, he's not here, he's in the masjid. He came to say, yes, I'm, I accept your apology. But he found him, already told the story to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So the Prophet, they already know. Abu Bakr Siddiq coming, and, and look at these people, Wallahi qulubuhum hayya. Abu Bakr Siddiq, when Umar al Khattab is coming to the masjid inside to say to Abu Bakr Siddiq, I'm sorry, I will accept your apology. He, no, he's still coming. The Prophet Sallallahu Abu Bakr Siddiq, he's looking at Abu Bakr Siddiq coming. And he looked at the face of Umar al Khattab. He's coming to apologize again to me and we, we okay. Now he's looking at the face of the Prophet and the face of the Prophet is so angry on Umar. And Abu Bakr Siddiq felt like, oh my God, I made a mistake. I shouldn't even brought this. This is my best friend. We have a small thing. What about if the Prophet Muhammad will curse Umar and Umar come out of this, oh my God. He wants to save the problem. What he did? The seerah said, he fell down on his, on his knee and he says, Ya Rasulullah, it's my fault, it's not his fault. It's me, Ya Rasulullah, not him, it's me. And the Prophet he's not even looking at Abu, he's not looking at uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq because the pro, he's, he's looking at Umar and he says, يَغْفُرُ اللَّهُ لَهُ يعني, ألا تدعو صاحبي? Don't you leave my companion, don't leave me alone with my friend. Don't ever harm Abu Bakr. And, and Abu Bakr said, he's asking, Ya Rasulullah, it's my fault and this. The Sahaba, they say, Wallahi alladhi la ilaha illa. From that day, there is no one could make Abu Bakr Siddiq upset after what they saw from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi doing with, with the Umar like this. And then they ended. And uh, Alhamdulillah, it wasn't any issue. But it, show you, it shows you how sometimes even the greatest believers in Allah the ones that Allah, both of them love, and they are from Jannah, but they still have arguments sometimes, but they solve it. They, they, one of them goes to another one says, I'm sorry, it's my fault. The other one says, yes, no problem, and so on and so on. This is how uh, uh, Abu Bakr, and oh, this is the, another one that you need to know this. Al-Hijrah. Abu Bakr Siddiq, when he migrated from Mecca to Medina. Number one, the leader. Who's the leader? Is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Persecution in Mecca. People are killing each other. They're killing the Muslims in Mecca. 11 years, 10 years in Mecca now of uh, torture to the Muslim. And Abu Bakr Siddiq, I don't want to forget this before I go to the Hijrah. Let's finish with Me Mecca. Abu Bakr Siddiq, all of his wealth, he put cash, money, big money. And he goes and see the slaves. When somebody is punishing a slave, he will buy the money. How much you want for him? Uh, give me uh, five awqiyah, which is, this is five awqiyah, gold. This is how he paid for Bilal ibn Rabah. He found a Zinira, a woman, and he freed her. He found another, uh, freed, freed, freed the slaves as much as he possible. Any Muslim that he is uh, under any tyrant that punishes him, he will buy him and says, Anta hurran fi sabilillah. Today we read that ayah. الذي يؤتي ما له يتزكى وما لأحد عنده من نعمة تزا إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى ولا سوف يرضى جميع العلماء the majority of the علماء they say this ayah is for Abu Bakr Siddiq and he will be pleased he's he's spending his money for Islam how much money we spend in our own family to make them love Islam he used to go here you go here you go here you go he went and he found Bilal ibn Rabah by Umayy ibn Khalaf he's punishes him big leader of Kuffar, Umayyah ibn Khalaf is punishing Bilal ibn Rabah. He says, stop, how much you want for Bilal? He says, khamsa awqiyya, give me five. Five uh, awqiyya of uh, gold. The Abu Bakr said, he didn't even argue with him. Here you go. The, then Bilal, he wiped the stone, removed the stone, sent Bilal, you are free. The Kuffar, look at the intelligence. That's why I'm telling you, don't think 1400. When it comes to the Muslims, they are intelligent because they have the revelation, wahi, and the wisdom, and their heart is fitrah. They have fitrah, wahi, sunnah, the Prophet is with them. So every word they say is intelligent. You will learn how to become intelligent and how to respond, to respond, to answer people. Look how Abu Bakr Siddiq answered Umayyah ibn Khalaf. He's a big leader, but Allah removed his wisdom. You know, he says, Ya Abu Bakr, come here. I tell you, you give me five awqiyah. <laughs> That's a lot of money. If you ask me one, I would have given you this slave. 
Abu Bakr Siddiq, he looked at him, he said, if you ask me a hundred, I will give it to you. If you ask me a hundred, awqiyya, not five, because the Umayyah ibn Khalaf, he wants to make fun. Do you get the point here? If you give me, if you give me two awqiyya, if you give me one penny, I give you the slave. Abu Bakr Siddiq, he, he said, if you ask me one million, I give it to you. Don't humiliate my brother. This is Bilal, this Muwahid, Ahadun Ahad. He's the first believer from the Habasha, believes in Allah. You know, in Mecca, the Prophet ﷺ, you know what he did when Fatih Mecca? He calls, Ya Bilal, come here. Islam comes and demolish slavery. Bilal in Islam, he was the, the Mu'addin of the Prophet. He was the writer of Wahi of the Prophet. He used to write the revelation from Allah. He's not just a black slave. No, when you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, and show your devotion, you are this. Innama yakshal muttaqoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la farqa bayna arabiyin wa la ajamiyin wa la abiyada wa la aswada illa bi. At taqwa, except there is no difference between Arab, non Arab, black, white, this, except with piety. Bilal in Mecca, Ya Bilal, come here. Isad al al Kaaba, go on the top of the Kaaba and make the Adan. And Kaaba for the Quraysh, they still be disbelievers. Had Habashi, he's gonna, no one can enter Kaaba except the big leaders. Now, the Prophet is gonna ask the slave that he's Muslim, he's dignified, to make the Adan on the top of God, step on the Kaaba. Bilal, he says, Ya Rasulullah, me? Me? Are you calling me? And he was like, you know, somebody called him and he says, is it me? Did I heard the name, my name? He said, yes, you, come here. Go to Galab. He said, I can't get this so high. You know what he did? Ya Abu Bakr, Ya, ya Umar, come here. Give him. And he climbed on Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar Dhul Khattab and go on the top. And Umar, and go make the Adan.